Hey y'all, it's your girl Suzette with Crafting with Susie coming to you today with an unboxing video. Yay! So I talked about this painting in my last video. Um, I thought I wasn't going to get it till Monday and it came yesterday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is a painting from Distracted by Diamonds. I'm sure we can all tell from the packaging. And we are going to just go ahead and cut through all the BS and open this right on up. Yes, honey, I remember put the address facing down. Facing down. So, give me one second. Ooh. This mug is in here extra tight this time. Okay, here we go. So, this of course is the box that it comes in. She uses the black box, has the instructions, basic instructions back here pictures and written on the diamond painting and how to diamond paint. Ooh, isn't having choking hazard for other small children. So what we're gonna see is that we got the moth here and it is a 52 by 67 centimeter square. Hope this light is not, there we go her iridescent box and the little image up here. This is distracted by diamonds once again. And let's just open her right on up. She does not put the little, she used to put the little um, envelope with her note and her stickers and everything in here. She doesn't do that anymore. So no stickers this time. And this is a licensed painting by Jasmine Castillo. And we all appreciate Robin from Distracted by Diamonds doing the licensed painting is very important. So we'll pull out the drills here, place those over there. Comes with the little container here. You can use these for your ABs if you'd like, what have you. She sends the little container and hold up now. Oh, oh there it is. <laughs> I was about to say, hold up, boo. Okay. And then we have the kit, and it's a basic kit where you have your square, you have your boat, you have your pin, and then you have your multi-placer. I'll just take this out for you all to see. Uh-oh. There's the multi-placer, the boat, and two squares of wax, and then the pin. So place that to the side. Then you have your legend and I've showed before how I keep mines in my book. There you go. So this has 40 colors. As I said, it's a square and we're going to say this right. I keep calling it a moth because I can't say the first word, but Ooh, Buena Oposis, Buena Oposis. So forgive me for mispronunciation of the word. Buena aposis. No, I'm saying that right. Wrong. I'm saying it wrong. I'm sorry. I do not want to butcher that up any more than I've already done. So this is the legend. And we'll go ahead and see what this looks like. Distracted by diamonds. 
her diamond paintings are poured glue. They do come with, okay. I wonder if I'm gonna need to turn my light on. They do come, it comes with the plastic cover. So it is okay to go ahead and uh, roll this one backwards so it can lay flat. Throw that out the way. Alrighty. Can we see here? I hope so. Yeah, we gonna leave that light off. I think when the light is on, it doesn't. So we'll just show it like this a little bit. Y'all, I'm feeling myself. I got my hair done today, thank God. So this is what it looks like. Moving around a little bit. And right in here is what I was saying. It kind of looked like it had eyeballs on it and like a cyclops eye right here. So this is what it looks like. And then the beautiful, beautiful flowers at the bottom. And just in case you didn't get a really good look at it, I'll post a picture so you guys will see what it's going to look like. It's not that, um... It's not that big, it's a nice size. It is a nice size. I don't need it to be gigantic. I really, really don't. Um, but anywho, so here, uh oh, there's the legend down here at the bottom. And then you have the legend here at the top, an image of the painting, the size of the painting, distracted by diamonds, plus her marketing emblem here. And then at the bottom, there is the title of the painting, the artist, when it was done, and then some more information here. These are um, nice kits. I do like ordering from Distracted by Diamonds. Let me see if I can get this out of the way here. Um, let me see, I'll go ahead and pull it up a little bit. People like to see the stickiness. I mean, it's sticky. Oh, could you see that when I did that? It's sticky, like that's sticking to my finger. So I don't like to pull it all the way up into the middle. I don't think it's necessary. I trust the products that she has. Um, she is very good with communication. If there's ever a problem or issue, if you contact her, she will do everything she can. There we go, to fix it. So I trust these are correct. I'll go ahead and show you these drills. They come in the individual baggies. Some people work out of the baggies. Uh, I keep saying, oh, I'll try it, I'll try it. I haven't yet. I like kitting up. I don't like doing the kit down part, but um, I don't mind kitting up. So y'all already know what to do. I'm not going into no long explanation. Everybody's fine. So I'll show you these drills. I'm gonna take them out this time, I don't mind. Oh, all right, there's a couple. I hope I don't have a bag open. Let me just make sure I got, my bags are closed. I see a couple dark colors. This is a really dark blue. I don't know if you can see that, that is not black. That is a dark navy royal blue. These, yeah, threes are 310. These are 310. That's why I said you would use that double XL tray for. And the aqua colors, one is darker than the other. Well, oh, there's only a tiny bit of this one. This one. Pretty pink. Okay. Pretty pink. 
I don't care how many times I tell him, babe, I'm about to do a video. He still talks to me when he knows I'm recording. <laughs> I love this color. That is pretty. That's pretty. And here's another blue. It's lighter. It's lighter than this one. And let me take the rest of them out. Yoshi, I'm recording. Oh, there's a little straggler in here. These look really nice. There's one there. But these look really nice. I'm not really seeing um, trash. And I know people say with the squares, not so much with the rounds, you kind of got to be careful and look at them to make sure they're in good shape. These look good to me as long as I know what I'm looking for. Here's some greens here. Oh yeah, that one's mixed too. Screens, another green, another green. Some more blues. Do I have another blue? This one here. And let's do some pinks. There's some pinks here. This one's really pretty. And the orange. This is going to be beautiful with all these different colors. Of course, I like the bright orange the best, which is that one. And then some purples. We have this one, quite a bit of those. That's going to be nice. Um, I don't see any ABs. If I come across something that I feel like I can switch it out with, I will. I try to get as close enough to the color as possible when I switch it out with the AB. Like, see, there's not that many of this color, 38, 48. I think that will look pretty in an AB. And that is 38, 48 is in. Lord, I'm gonna have to find it. I know it's gonna be a small area. Oh, I see it here. It's down in the wings. It's down in the wings. Yeah, over in here. See, that would be pretty. That would be pretty. And the eight, eight is, hold on, I'm sorry guys. 36. 3809. Let me see if I can find that color. It's 3809. Uh oh. Oh, that's a lot of those. We won't be switching that out, honey. That's too many. But this one definitely, I can switch this one out. So we got some more greens here. Pink. I would say that's like kind of like a brown or reddish brown, like a mauve. Here's another one. This color is pretty. Kind of a charcoal gray here. Maybe one of these can be switched out for an AB. And then I just want to count them. 
So you want to just make sure you have all your colors. So you just want to count the bags. Okay, so as long as you have your bags, you're cool. If you don't, make sure you contact um, the company or the person that you actually purchase it from so they can make sure they get that color out to you. And then the next thing we wanna look at are the symbols. So you know on Plant Witch, I had a little bit of trouble with some of the symbols. They were blurred, they got better the uh, closer to the top of the painting that I was getting to, but towards the bottom, they were, they were blurred. I mean, you, you can figure it out. It's not like, you can figure it out. I don't know, I guess I don't take diamond painting that, that serious where I'm like going to, into panic mode about it. But these things, being honest, just being completely honest, they can be expensive and when you pay all that money yeah you want it to be right so i get that part but with the light on and i turn my light up they look okay the one it was an eight i had to look at it closely to be able to tell that it was a figure eight um, that was the one I said that was too many to be ABs. Uh, let's see here. I can see, this is my honest opinion. I think I can see all of them okay. Well, well, I can see them well, except when you get in here inside of the wing and that's the, well, I know what it is now. It's an eight. I know what it is now. It's an eight. So I'll know that's what goes there. Like all in here, those are eight. Um, let's see here. That seems to be the only one. Otherwise, I pretty much can see all the rest of them. I don't notice that there's any symbols that are too close to being identical where you can't tell the difference. But I'm gonna see if I can hold this up. And like my, where my thumb is, if you can see, those are eights in there. I don't know if you can see it. So that's the only thing. That's the only thing. But like I said, I'm not the, you know, diamond painting police where I feel like, oh my God, I'm, da -da 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 -da, I'm stressing over it. No, yeah, you want them to be crystal clear. But honestly, like diamond art club, that's a whole nother realm of type of diamond painting. When you have people who are doing these things uh, on their own and they're, they're trying to run a business and they're a small business, you know, it's kind of like a give and take. So that's why with uh, Distracted by Diamonds, Patty Wax, and my, this is my true feeling, with her having diversity on her page, with her um, using licensed artwork, with her shipping very quickly, with her communication skills, like that to me is the give and take. You know, so that's why I continue to purchase from her and support her, um, her page. And I encourage you all to do the same. So this is what it looks like. I'm not gonna hold you guys up too much. Oh yeah, it looks so much better showing it this way. Yes, <gasps> look at those flowers. Look at that moth. You see how it looks like it's eyeballs, but anyway. <laughs> 
when I like that looks like a cyclops for real. So when I like really do it, do it. Oh yes. See y'all got my hair done. <laughs> you will see it. And I thought the colors were really, really pretty. All the blues and greens and pinks is just absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna cut you guys off or cut myself off. So if you're an OG, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. If you're a newbie, thanks for taking a moment to stop by. Um, always remember to like what you see, leave a word of encouragement, and don't forget to subscribe. Remember to stay beautiful and to stay blessed. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.